Well, hello everybody. I'm up on my roof putting my last piece on, the last edge guard that was going to be a pain in the butt. Surprisingly, it slid past the tower. So I got the slide all the way past. The only thing I had to do was cut a notch to get this wire in. And I used my, uh, stuck on it. I used my air shears. So, poof. Yeah, I ran an airline out. I bought this. This is freaking ridiculous stuff. DSI Quad Max stretches five times. Proved wet conditions, cold application. This is unlike any type of. I don't even know if they consider the silicone. But the windows, it's doorting and doorting, yeah, doors, siding, sealant. This is, is thick. It's nice and thick. And then wherever you put it, it stays there. It's like a putty. And, uh, man, I feel 100% safe sealing up any crack with this stuff. I blobbed it all in here. I had a little bit of a gap in here, and I blobbed it in there. And it's still pliable. And it, but it's like, really, it's between a silicone and a putty. And, uh, now this isn't, like, something I got to worry about leaking into the garage. It's not going to, but... I mean, I got to come back and put more screws on this piece here and then some over there, which actually I can take this putting over there with it. So as you can see, this roof is done now. Ta-da! And the hole I made, I was going to put a screw in. I just put a little bit of blob of that on there. So, yeah. So I think I will, I think I'll do a little squirt in here maybe. Just to, uh, all right, take that back in. Just to give me a nice seal. And look at that, it goes in there like bubble gum. That's amazing stuff. And then, you don't even have to release it, it just stays there. Just finger spread it the way she likes it. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So, it's nice. And it's almost looks like it's self-leveling, you know, so it's I better put some just on the back of this tin before I get my piece in here, you know. This little blobby blob in there. I don't know if it's gonna rain anytime soon, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then this stuff just wipes right off your finger. Yeah, it comes right off. Comes right off. So this is I gotta buy more of that. So I did get regular clear silicone, and what I'm going to be doing is I'll be running a bead of clear down through here, you know, just to seal that off, so I don't have anything dripping between. Whee! Look at that big cross over there, huh? I think I should earn some Jesus brownie points for that one, I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to jump down and go back in the garage. Okay, so you noticed in my last video, the stupid camera went this way. <coughs> I don't know why it does that. I always film horizontal. So a lot of times when I'm doing like pieces of clips, like the one on the roof and now I'm down here, it's two different clips. I go through and it saves it into my pictures and I go into my pictures and I turn them right side round and then delete the backwards one. Well, I forgot to delete the backwards one. And that's why my one video, I was stupid. So here's this piece on there now. That's all in there. And uh, I only had a few screws. It's only being held on by a few screws. So this is my spare airline. I got enough airline to go to any neighbor's house. I got so many rolls of airline. It's ridiculous. I found this one. Found this airline on the other side of the garage by my lawnmower. Here we go. Here goes a big poof. Bye. <laughs> so that's what's nice about having a, an airline over on this side. All right, let me spool this up. You just spool it up and that's, that's it. I had to close this door because Junior was wandering around and uh, like that. But I'll probably use this piece for something later. Uh, I'll just throw it out here for now. It doesn't matter. But. Yeah, it looks all nice and tight solid up there now. I don't see no light. 
I call this the cobble corner, but oh, there's a, look at this. There's a silicone that came all the way down through the bottom. Sweet, wants to take advantage of that. Put it right around the bottom of it. Nice. I really like the texture of this stuff. This is cool. You know, that felt good. Hit your elbow on an angle iron. Um, so I went down to Lowe's and I got uh, another length of that plastic flexi pipe that I used for a heat run right there over by the door and uh I gotta get a clean rag it's all sticky so I got a 20 footer it's, 20, it's like 26 bucks for that and I've got spare I got some left over this will stretch out probably six eight feet and then um and then I took this piece off of my heater and then of course I've had the cap so I cut the hole out bigger put this adapter on That'll go on there, it'll aim back, and that'll get heat over there. So, I got a guy coming today, he's buying that heater, and tanks, and this one. I said, give me 200 bucks, you can have all of it. So, before I came, I took off my adapter for this, that went on here, because I needed it for my other thing. But And then, you know, I got my cold air return here, which is... I'm pointless now, but I could try to run that hose up and connect it up into here, possibly. But yeah, so it's been a pretty easy day so far. Um, so I got into the last bit of my stash because I knew this guy was coming today. So I spent 50 bucks at Lowe's, I spent 25 bucks at the pizza place. Was it 25 bucks? Maybe it wasn't 25 bucks, maybe it was 20. I got two slices of pepperoni, I got two slices of broccoli cheese for crabby pants and then i got a um a cheese ball and uh it's kind of a big they said it's a meatball so they ain't meatball it's got broccoli and cheese rice ball that's what it was deep fried and so i got that for crabby face because i figure if she shoves that in her mouth then she's got no room to bitch at me about anything so see there's a secret plan behind all this stuff you guys got to learn this stuff Anytime somebody's bitching at you, give them something big to shove in their mouth, other than your foot. But, and it usually works, you know? So, usually food works every time. Oh, look at this, the remote, the instructions, perfect. I'll have to leave them here so he can figure it out. Anyways, yeah, this guy I'm talking to, last night it was 38 degrees inside his cabin. I'm like, are you freaking nuts? I said, isn't everything frozen up? He's like, yeah, my water heater froze and broke, and I'm running on solar, but I got two batteries, and it won't keep my furnace running. And I said, really? I said, why don't you take your car, put it next to your batteries, and run jumper cables from your car into your batteries to kick the damn heat on to keep your house warm? I mean, really? It's, it's not that difficult. Or build what I built, an engine out there with a big car alternator on it that comes in here and feeds the batteries. So I got so many different ways to keep power on in this house. I got the solar. I got the wind. I got the gas generator out there. I've got my car I can hook up to the batteries and charge them. I got two generators over there. So, yeah, and a million gallons of gas. You know, I grew up in a really cold house. I mean, they kept the heat. 62 65 when i grew up and i was like i'll be damned if i ever let my house get that cold you know 70 72 not too bad 70 is kind of like on my borderline 72 is perfect for me but 70 i could deal with it it's not bad i'm not freezing i'm warm puppy snuggle with me so yeah oh crap so now i'm out of screws with the rubber washers on i don't have any of them i only needed a few more so that's what I forgot at Lowe's was those screws, but. So this is my warming cabinet right here. This, in the winter time, oh, it's warm here. This keeps all of my silicone good. So it keeps, it just keeps everything warm. And there's holes drilled in the shelves so the heat comes up to whatever's up there. So, and I got a temperature monitor here. So, and this is all insulated. 
And then I put, uh, you know, shiny silver tape over the foam. So this is my warm cabinet. And anything that's going to get ruined in the wintertime, I'll put in there and I'll keep it nice. So spray cans really don't matter too much. But, you know, silicones and stuff like that. That once a cold hits it, it turns it into crap. But this is that amazing, super clear silicone. It's 100% silicone, indoor, outdoor. This is almost as clear as a window. This is, this is the stuff I put on before. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, holy crap, look how crystal clear this stuff is. You know? And if you think I'm raising my voice like this because I'm surprised. Mickey Mouse behind me. Okay, Dougie's in. Well, there's Moo Moo. Hi, Minnie. Yeah, this is the... Uh, there it is. It's so clear. You can't even see it. Let me turn the light on. That's how clear this stuff is. Look at that. You can see right through it. It looks like there's no silicone there, but it's there. Isn't that ridiculous? It's cool. Look at it. Flap. Flap. Mud flaps. So, yeah, when I first started squirting that stuff out of the bottle, I'm like, what the hell is this stuff? So, anyways, hopefully that guy comes today. And, uh, like I said, I want to get a heat run in here. And it was, got down cold last night, so I got that little heater running in here. Ooh, that's warm in there. Just so these pipes don't freeze up. And obviously they're not, so. But eventually, you know, I'll have a heat run in there. Maybe today. I got to go back and look at my pictures, and I'm not sure if I stuffed insulation in the ceiling. So, um, my ideal place to get heat in this is probably going to be like, oh, boy, where the hell can I put it? You know, this is only styrofoam, you know. That's not even tin, styrofoam. <laughs> Some guy comes in and goes, oh my God, I thought that was tin. I said, no, it's styrofoam. Really? I said, yep. Yep, a couple dollars a piece. And they're um they're two by two foot, so yep. Um let's see, where the hell can I pop that in? Probably in midpoint, probably in here, maybe right right in this circle here if I can get it. Oh wait a minute. There's a beam there. That's right. This is screwed into a beam. Well, maybe I'll cut it in the center of one of these. I don't know. Anyways, figure it out as I go. Yeah, I'll make a hole on this side. Which I already have one, so I can actually see what's going on up there. And then just kind of run it through. So I'm going to have to uh, cut a chunk there. Come out somewhere. So i got to pop a hole in there. Someplace. But I'll get it. You know, I got that one. I'll get this one. Alright. So that's it. Clean up my mess. And uh, that's it for today. Put a light out here. So what I want to do is... Get one of my little LED lights, mount it here, just kind of illuminating this area. So if there's any crooks think they're going to come and steal my trailer or whatever, they're lit up. But nobody stole my pen last night. So, Alrighty, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to do that too. Alright everybody, I'll catch you later. I'll uh, keep you updated on the heat run for the bathroom. I know, big deal, whatever, you know, but I clean my gutters out. Yesterday when I was up there, I looked down and my my water gutters were just packed with crap. See, I threw it all out in the ground. It's like, where the hell did these leaves come from, you know? Then I remembered, oh, apple tree. All right, have a good one. I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, so I didn't go in the house. I kept going. And, of course, you know, every time I'd bring a drink out here, I had to spill it. So I knocked this over, lost about a quarter of it. Damn it. Cap was on, but not tight. So, here we got the big shiny silver pipe going up. It's tied into here. It comes up. It kind of goes up and over the catwalk up there because that's the only way I can get it up and over. I didn't want to cut into it. And then it falls through the space up above here, which you can't see. I popped it out of here. I'm going to go up into that hole. I'm going to pull it down through to this hole so I can get a wire up there, hook onto it, and bring it down 
you know, just to this place. And then I think I'm going to put it as close as I can to about probably right in here and have the louvers of this heat thing. Okay, because you see which way they go. It goes, it blows down, it could blow this way. And I'll put them so it's going to blow the heat into the room like this instead of, you know, there. So it'll be blowing down, but it'll be blowing at a 45 this way. So this will be going up into there somewhere. Um, I ran out of pipe of 20 foot right here as far as I could get it. Got my scrap. I needed a piece of four inch pipe to um, hook on here. And I just happened to have an old dryer vent on the other side of the garage. And uh, so I just pulled the little piece of pipe for this dryer vent off. And uh, I use that as a splicer. See? Always save stuff. You never know. It's one of my, what do you call it? So this has been running. I fired, this has been running for a while over here. I shut it off, but... But this has been running, it's still warm. I pulled all the wire out of the wall and uh, to get the control out, because the control used to go through the wall right there and come out into the kitchen on the wall. And it used to come out right there, where the hole is. So I got a picture over now to hide the hole. So that took all the wires back. Um, the real furnace is running right now nice and warm so my soda was on that table and what happened was when I was boring this hole with this effing drill right there the four inch bit caught and just twisted ripped the fan off the wall that come flying down my drink went flying everything went flying on the table oh <sighs> so now I got my little thing over here drying oh it's drying already in front of the heater. So, or this dry. Is it dry? Holy crap. Wow, it dried fast. All right. My little, what do they call these, these stupid things? Table doily? I don't know what it's called, but just, just to act as a, uh, whatever. Good. No stain, nothing. All right, good. That's fine. So, yeah, the soda was just, it went all over the whole table. So, I'm like, great. So now I'm at the fun part of, I just got done swearing, getting this in there, because you know how hard it is getting these over a pipe. They're just so much fun. Oh, look, my hand's crooked. Turn them back straight. I got this light off right now because it's blinding me when I'm up there and I can't stand it. So I only got one light on now. Yeah, so this is going to be it. Um, you'll see the pipe. You know, just turn up into the wall, then it's going to turn this way. I got a lot of room up there. I got, you know, let's see, six, seven inches. Yeah, because it's just two by six plus an inch above it is a 10 for the purlings. And this guy never freaking came yet. Oh, there's my neighbor leaving. The guy that's supposed to come and buy these heaters, that's why I fired that one up, because he's supposed to be coming down. You know, it feels like it's midnight out, but it's only 5.35. I've been out here most of the day, most of the afternoon. I just want to get this crap done, you know. I just want to get this done before winter or snow flies or whatever. So I'm going to need that drill one more time in the bathroom. And then that should be it to make the hole for the heat pipe. So I'll be back when it's all done. And I'll... May or may not be making up new swear words. I don't know. I'll see you in a minute. All right. How long has it been? About uh, 15 minutes or so. Look what happened to this. You know, I've had this forever, this wire fish. And I always had problems with it. I never figured out why. The damn thing is broken in like eight foot pieces. It all broke inside. The wires snapped. It's like, damn, no wonder why I could never get any wire out of it. But I did use a piece of it right here. That'll be in the garbage. I'll be looking for a new one later. So the pipe comes up through here. I painted it a little bit to match. It didn't really matter. And I don't have any white paint to touch up the gray, so I left that. And there's my heater. 
So, wow, it's really blowing out good. So that's blowing out good. Um, it tore all this here. I got this all glued on now, but when the drill caught, and when it ripped through this styrofoam stuff, which you, it looks like sealing, but it's actually just styrofoam, it uh, took a piece with it, so I'll touch that up later. I actually have extra panels. If I really want to be anal about it, I could take that panel down and put a new one up, but I ain't going to do that. So there. And, of course, my drink spilled again. Jeez. Um, let's see, I turn the heat down. Oof, boy, I can really feel the heat in here now. Damn. Turn that down. What the hell did it get up to in here? Oh, that ain't right. It's a lot warmer than that. Oh, it's cold by the window. And 40 or 54. Yeah, it's warmer than 54. I'll tell you that much. So there. Now the bathroom has heat. I'll just make like a little wooden box to put over that out of this because I got a ton of this wood left. I'll just put a little box up there and screw it in. And then I'll paint this white when I get more white. And then, uh, yeah, it's blowing out good. It's blowing right out this way, too. Blowing right in the middle of the room. So, that's it. And as for a cold air return, I don't really need it because there's an air gap around this door, so I feel the heat getting cold back from under it and around it, so whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, I think I'm going to call it quits. And yes, of course, I'm sweating. So, never fails. One dry hand. And one wet hand. And I think I got stood up by that guy. He's, he was always quick to answer my text. You know? The last time he texted me was 310. I said, the guy's on his way. I'm like, all right, good. I said, I got the unit fired up so you can see how much heat they put out. And, uh... Yeah, this piece right here made everything fall down in the kitchen. Jeez. So, what happened was, is it ripped the hanging bracket off. So now i got to screw right through it to hold it there. Start pulling everything off the shelf because the wire goes behind it. And it's, oh, God. So, anyways, yeah, I had beige paint. I tried to hide that a little bit with the beige. Did it work? No. Not really. But I'll try to tone that shine down on this. Um, well, this is what the beige does to it, if you're curious or not. That does kind of tone it down. It's barely coming out, though. It does take that, you know, Tin Man shine off of it. But it still looks like a stupid-ass pipe going up the wall. So, anyways, that's the can right there that broke my balls all day. That's how you do that. When you get mad at him, just stomp the crap out of it. All right. So, officially now, I'm done yapping. I used some of my crystal clear adhesive to glue those pieces back up that snapped off the foam. And that's it. Any touch-ups, there's always another day. So now I officially have heat into the bathroom. All right, everybody. This is my final goodbye. Goodbye.